Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so I kind of thought about this idea like yesterday, and I don't know if it's going to be popular or not, but I thought it might be kind of fun just to do short live streams um, once or twice a week and kind of work through just the Elixir getting started guide. So I don't know, we'll see. And then that, you know, it allows us, you guys can chat with me and we can kind of just read some documentation, follow examples and uh, go through the getting started guide over, over a few months, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it's cool. We'll see what happens. I really, I, I don't know if people will like it. I hope they do. I think it'll be good. So I'm going to just open up Firefox and let's go ahead and go over to elixirlang.org and we're going to go to the guides here and we're just going to do the introduction um, section today. It'll go quick, but I think it'll be, it'll be cool. And then maybe towards the end of the week, I'll get the basic types in and as we progress, we'll just go through everything here and uh, we can always talk about it and discuss what we're learning. So welcome everyone. Uh, let's see, what's up Max, Stimson, Sasha, stoked that you guys are here. All right, so the introduction, can you guys, uh, I have to switch my screen. There we go. So I, Maybe I'll do this again. I went to elixir-lang.org and went to the guides here and we're going to just be doing the introduction. And uh, yeah, hopefully it works out. Feel free to ask questions as I'm going through it. Hopefully uh, you can read everything okay. Is everything big enough? I think it is, it looks pretty big. So introduction. So welcome, this guide will teach you about the Elixir fundamentals, the language syntax, how to define modules, the common data structures in the language and more. And this chapter will focus on ensuring that Elixir is installed and that you can successfully run Elixir's interactive shell called IAX. So we'll go into the installation. I'm not going to run through installing this, but in the description below, I linked my video where we use a package manager ASDF to install Elixir and OTP. So I would suggest checking that out if you don't already have Elixir installed. And if you're on a Windows machine, you can go ahead, we can go to the install page here and just follow, you know, go to Windows and do it the way you want to do it. I always prefer the package managers because then you can switch languages and everything a lot easier. So if I pull up my terminal shell or my terminal here, I think I'm going to have to make this bigger for sure. There we go. And if I do Elixir dash dash version, we'll see that I have Elixir 1.16.1 installed and OTP 26, okay? And this guide is, so 1.16.2 is out, but as long as we're above 1.15, we are good. And if you have ASDF, you can do ASDF list and it'll list all of your versions and there'll be a little asterisk right next to your current versions that you're using. And then, like I said, follow that install video in the description below. And in like 24 hours, I can edit live streams. So I'll, I'll like link it somewhere up here as well. All right, back, back to the guide. So that's us. We have Elixir installed. That's awesome. And now we have interactive mode. So when we install Elixir, you have three new command line tools. We have IAX, Elixir, and Elixir C. And so this guide wants us to start with IAX. And if you're on Windows, you would type IAX.bat instead of just IAX. That is in the PowerShell as well. And that will open up 
the interactive uh, Elixir session. So I'm going to just clear to get us on the top here. And now if I do IEX, we are now in the Elixir interactive shell. And then you just do control C twice to exit out, but we're going to, we're going to stay in and I'm going to clear to keep it on the top. And as we go through the guide, we can basically now do any Elixir code inside the Elixir shell. And they're just running through a couple examples here. So you can do, you know, simple math operations. So 42 plus two, and we get 44 back. And then you can, you know, string here and we'll get our string back. And then we can use the um, string concatenation operator. So we can combine two strings. So we can say like, hello, and then the concatenation operator is the less than greater than, and then we can do our space world like that, and then we get it back as one string. So we can play around in this shell and write any Elixir code that we want. It's pretty handy. I, uh, when I, I do a lot of course, when I do a lot of my like tutorials, we play around and run specific uh, Elixir scripts and stuff and call functions through the shell. So it's super, super helpful. All right, let's see what else we have here. Now, to be fair, I haven't read through these in a while, so I'm gonna be reading these live as well. And so sometimes, you know, it'll be like seeing um, very new things for the first time. So let's see, please note that some details like version numbers may differ a bit in your session. Yes, that makes sense because whatever Elixir version we are running. All right. Now note, if you're on Windows earlier than OTP 26, you can also run IEX dash dash WERL. And I am not a Windows guy at all. So I'm, I'll just blindly read that stuff here all right so after we play around in the shell you can do lots of things you can even do multiple line things so we could even uh, we could set a variable so we could say name equals and then i could say jacob and then when i type name the variable name we'll get jacob back um, we can do multiple line functions um, I don't want to get too above, too far ahead, though, because obviously the start getting started guide, this is very um, beginner. But we could also do things like um, multiple lines for a string. And we can do three quotations and we can say uh, first line, second line, third line, and then we can... Close that off with three double quotes again. And now you'll see that it returns a string in one line, but we have our um, backslash N, which is a new line operator. And then you have things like if we do IO puts, this will basically console log to the terminal, anything we put in here, followed by a new line automatically. So there we go. And so that spits that out. So now if we go back to the guide, um, now we can run a, a really simple Elixir script if we want to. And so we're going to create an Elixir script, which is .exs. And you'll, so when you're programming an Elixir, you'll see .ex files and .exs files. And the .exs file is just an, execu uh, an executable Elixir script and the .ex files are um, Elixir files that are usually they'll be compiled when we start using Mix. So, I, but either way, we can run these files with Elixir in front of them like this. So let's just copy this example here. We'll create a new file. So I'm going to Control C twice to get out of our shell. And then I'm going to CD to the desktop. All right. And then we'll just make a new file here and we'll call this. So we'll do a touch 
and we'll call this intro.exs. And we'll get a new file. It just popped up on my desktop there. And I, I hate that it by default is using uh, the cursor logo because I like to use VS Studio mostly, but I got talked into trying cursor for the whole AI thing. And now look what it does to my, my files. <laughs> I hate it. Um, so now uh, I'm not gonna open up an editor for this, uh, we can get into that stuff later, but I'm going to use Vim to edit this file. And we're gonna just do this hello world from Elixir with an IO puts. So if I do Vim and then we just go into our intro.exs file, when you're in Vim, you have to press I for insert. And now we can type whatever we want. So we're gonna do IO puts and then inside of parentheses, we'll say uh, double quotation, hello world, from Elixir and then close those double quotes and close that parentheses. And then to save this file, you have to hit escape once and then the colon and then W to write to the file and then Q to quit. And now if uh, we run Elixir and then our Elixir script name after it, it will run our script we just wrote and believe it or not that is an elixir script and we just wrote some elixir code so if we do elixir and then intro.exs and when i hit enter we're going to see our hello world from elixir message and there we go hello world from elixir so we just wrote our first elixir script pretty cool um and like i said so this is us. I'm just going to read through these documentation, follow some examples. If you guys have questions, we can dive into things in a little more detail. Um, but I kind of look at these like they'll be just nice and quick live streams. Some will obviously take a little longer, depending. Obviously, the introduction here is pretty short. But I also recommend watching my install video with ASDF because that's really nice to use the package manager. And here it kind of discusses how to compile uh, Elixir code as well. So later on, we'll learn how to compile Elixir code and how to create and work with Elixir projects using the mix build tool. And so that's kind of why I wanted to avoid doing like mix new and create an Elixir project. So we just manually created our EXS file today. So yeah. All right. I hope you guys like the concept of, of this video. And in my next live stream, we'll hit basic types. And if you guys have any questions, now would be an awesome time. We can just chat. Otherwise, we can end the stream and we'll do the next one. I don't know. Maybe maybe on Thursday we'll do basic types. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. And I will see you in the next live stream.